I grew up in downtown Los Angeles. I honestly believe that John Paul didn't know he wasn't Mexican until he was about 15. <laughs> My father left before I was two years old. The state stepped in, found a foster home for us. My mother did not want to let loose, but she had no choice. It was some tough days. I've been homeless twice in my life. I lived in my car, learned how to eat off 99 cents. My friend said, I got an extra room for you, and it was around a biker community, the Hells Angels. And you know, there were some mean mother dudes. To get out of that, then you gotta dig into yourself. John Paul did it with work. It was door to door sales. I sold dictating equipment. I sold photocopy machines. I sold life insurance. I sold so much stuff. He's struggling, and what happens? He meets Paul, and they birth Paul Mitchell. Paul Mitchell was going broke. I said, Paul, you got it on to sell. Let's start a company. It's a black and white bottle because that's all they could afford. I had 30 days to pay the bill for the bottles. I sold, sold, sold. In the 80s, it took off. We made it. 1989, going out of Mexico, and it was the smoothest tequila I ever had. He goes, whatever it is I want in. So now we have the product, we have no clue how the industry works. I went knocking door to door. He said, have you ever tried Patron tequila? And I said, you know, I don't really drink tequila because I had a bad experience once with the Technicolor Mule in Tijuana. Wouldn't it be wild if this became like the biggest selling tequila in the world? JP always looks at any project with a philanthropic attitude. You can do well for yourself by doing good things for other people. Warning, quit poaching whales. He walks out in front of the spears. You got your first half million, okay? Oh They're out there to do something good to save this planet for future generations. I've learned more in one year working with John Paul Azuri than I've learned in my whole entire life. You can build a pile, but then you give it away. By giving it away, you make your pile bigger. A lot of people forget their beginnings, but he seems very connected with them. And I think a lot of his desire to make a difference in the world comes from that. Success unshared is failure. I'm gonna hug this one. <laughs>